To automate MI machines, you're going to need your MI wrench and you're going to stand somewhere near one of your machines and then shift click where you want it to connect to your ME system. Uh, here I have a mega pattern provider that will input and output all of my liquids or items to my MI machines or from my MI machines. And then I've simply just shift clicked them so the input output is on the back. I put the patterns inside and it simply just does what I need it to do. Now if you want to make one machine do simply one thing and only one thing, like here I'm making this make sugar solution, I'm just going to craft some sugar for a sec. Okay, I have it auto inputting from the back. It's inputting also sugar and water from the top directly into my MI machine and then that is being auto crafted into sugar solution. So you can use import export buses for inputting and outputting. I always connect them to a pattern provider but if you have a series of machines like this you're going to want to put the pattern provider in a place where all of them can connect. I would stack them like this and I have covered all my MI pipes and uh, energy cables in concrete using the pipe config card which I'll show you here. And as you can see on the card it'll camouflage a block by shift right clicking the block that you want to get cover it with and then clicking the pipe with the card. So shift right click, crouch right click, now it's white, white concrete covered. And if I place down a pipe I could click it with this card and cover it. That's why you can't see them. Um, I have my MI large steam boiler still going and I have this set up in a way that I will show you. I have it exporting steam from a liquid Okay, so all it grabs is steam, and then, or sorry, importing steam, exporting water and coal blocks. And this is all connected to my ME system. It, it does get a bit complicated if you have a lot of machines. Like this is probably overkill. You probably don't need three EBFs, and you don't usually need a distillation tower this tall, but I set it up that way. Um, for my machines like the vacuum freezer, you only really need the mega pattern provider and then I just use export and import buses for the rest of it. I have it set up so I can like ask my ME system to make me something and it will import all the stuff that it needs and then export all of the products that are created. So this one is exporting liquid air right now and I guess it's importing air intake over here I have my old steel machines set up the, in much the same way I just shift crouch clicked the back of the machine where it connects to the pattern provider and then I have the patterns or used to have the patterns put in here this one was only making me stainless steel, so I had all of the ingredients for stainless steel, and then it would drop it into the mixer from the top. But yeah, that, that's basically how I set it up. Uh, let me know if you have any other questions.